Guys, welcome back to another tech tip video. Today, I'm gonna show you how to set up your Samsung Smart TV to be controlled with your Amazon Alexa device. Just a quick disclaimer, before we get started, Samsung did not release the full support for the smart TVs until the 2019 year. So if you do have an older smart TV, you will have limited functionality such as turning it on and off. But if you do have a newer TV, you have the ability to turn it on and off, change the volume, select different apps, and actually have a full control of your TV with the app. You can purchase an Amazon Fire Stick, allowing you to get full Alexa support for those older smart TVs. First things first that we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to add the TV to the Samsung Smart Things app. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the Smart Things. You can typically find it under like a Samsung folder. If you don't have it downloaded, you can visit the Play Store to download it. But if you do have a Samsung device, it is pre-installed. So we're gonna click on Smart Things and it's gonna ask you my home, living room. It may ask you to create an account. If you haven't created an account yet, go through that process. And then once you've signed in, it'll take you to here. So right here, we've already got our living room set and we've got the My Home set. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the little plus and we're gonna click on where it says add a device. Next thing, we're gonna go to TV and then it says get started with your TV. We're gonna click on the blue star and then it's gonna ask you where you want to select the location for your TV. You can choose the My Home or you can add a new location right there. We're gonna go ahead and go down to the bottom right and click on next because the My Home is just perfectly fine for this. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and select a room that this specific is TV in. Is This is in the living room. And uh, again, you can go ahead and add new room if you need to, click next. And then it's gonna ask you to turn on your TV using the remote control. And you've got like a little progress bar up here as it detects it, you're gonna notice a little percent. As it starts to calculate up, you've noticed that it's contact to the phone as well, it gives you a new icon. And then it will say, check the pin shown on your TV, then enter it below. In the top right hand corner, I know it's kind of blurred out, but it says 6642 and then 6456 and then click done. And once the pin has matched, it's gonna continue the progress bar on the top right here and that'll go all the way around. It says TV is being registered to your Samsung account. And in the background on the TV, right up there again, you can see where it says set up via the phone. It's complete, I know it's blurred out, but that's what it says and then it's got an okay. And then on the phone here, it says successfully connected my home slash living room TV or living room, unknown HDMI 2, which is what the input is on the background. And we're gonna go ahead and just leave it as Samsung TV. It may have your model number there. You can name it whatever you want. So we're gonna go ahead and click done. Once we've got the device added to the SmartThings app, we're then gonna go over to the Alexa app and we're going to enable the SmartThings skill. So let's go ahead and do that. So again, what you're gonna want to do is go to the Amazon Alexa app. If you don't have that downloaded, feel free to go in and download it either the Google Play Store or the App Store. Once you've got it downloaded, you will need to sign in. So if you don't have an Alexa, account, you will need to sign in and get that all set up. And then once you've got it loaded right here, we're actually going to click on the three bars at the top left and come on down to skills and games. Once we've done that, it's going to list your skills up here, but we're actually going to go over to discover and you can actually click on the little magnifying glass that's going to ask you to search. So we're just going to type in smart and you can see right here, smart things or smart things, Samsung, you can click on that. It's going to be the top option. That's got this little logo right over there and then says smart things. Go ahead and click on that. And then it's going to say enable to use. It does require an account linking. So this is why I had you create an account on the SmartThings app because you will need to link it here. Enable to use, enabling skill, account linking in progress. It'll then take you over to the website where you can link the two. Select right here and you're gonna want to choose my home or whatever your home is. It's gonna ask you to authorize on that device. Once you've got it selected, click on the green authorize. And with the Samsung app, if you already have the Samsung information in there, it's going to automatically sync the two because it understand, it recognizes the password and username. If not, it will take you to a prompt where you'll need to sign that in or create the account if you haven't done before. But in this case, it says Smart Things has been successfully linked. So what we can do is we can go ahead and close this window and we're gonna go back to the Amazon Alexa app. And you can see right here, smart home devices must be discovered before they can be used with Alexa. Go ahead and click on discover devices. So it appears Alexa didn't find it, but that's okay because typically when you enable a skill and link the two accounts, it should automatically bring the devices over. So it may have already found it and it was just looking for something new. So what we're actually gonna do is now we're on the homepage of the Alexa app. We're gonna go down to device in the bottom right hand corner. And then we're gonna click on all devices and search for the name of that device that we added in smart things. So if we scroll a little bit further down, you can see right here where it says Samsung TV. So we do have that listed. It did bring it over connected via smart things. You can add a description uh, type. You can put in the uh, other enable or disable it. And then of course you can edit the name because you can add this to different group depending on how you want to control all of your devices. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and because I have the uh, actual echo upstairs in the office, the app does have a way to talk with Alexa, which is down right here in the middle. Looks like a little chat bubble. So we're actually gonna go ahead and click on that and give this thing a test. Turn off Samsung TV. And that wraps up today's video, bringing us into our question of the day. What are the TVs have you controlled with the Alexa or Google Home Assistant? Leave your answers in the comments section below the video. It's see you on the next one.